People living in Midtown Sacramento getting an earful from a nearby McDonald's. Bagpipes blasting nonstop. It's supposed to keep the homeless away, but residents say it's driving them crazy. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm is live with the bagpipe backlash, Rob. Yeah, that's right, guys. You know, and right now the music has been turned off, but we talked with three restaurant managers here at this McDonald's about the bagpipe music that's been blaring from the loudspeakers. They declined to comment, but neighbors here certainly had a lot to say. This McDonald's at Broadway and 24th is open 24 hours, and some neighbors complain this sound has been running just as long. And the first couple days, they had it on 24-7. So if we wouldn't have said anything or reported it to the police, they would have had that thing going on still. Arnold Phillips lives across the street and says it's making him crazy. It actually penetrates through the walls. Like, we can hear it. And I'm trying to watch TV or whatever, and it's going through that. The bagpipe music is intended to drive the homeless away, and it doesn't appear to be working. I think it's an absurd action to, stay, to take instead of actually dealing with the issue. The idea of weaponized sound is nothing new. This 7-Eleven in West Hollywood loops classical. This 7-Eleven in Sacramento replaced classical with the soothing sounds of this. But here at Broadway, it's raining bagpipes over over and over again. Talk about an earworm. Sticks in your head when you're like going somewhere else and you're not even in this neighborhood. Arnold wishes he could pull the plug. He's even talked to restaurant management. Oh, they said they'll talk to the uh, corporate uh, pe people up higher and that's all they said they could do, really. Requests from CBS 13 fell on deaf ears, but Arnold's downstairs neighbor at least had his covered. You know, I turn off the leaf blower and I can still hear the bagpipes coming and it's, it's just... Constant. Count yourself lucky if you're eating with earbuds, and if you're not, no happy meal here. It was offensive to me because it's just so annoying. Do what you will to annoy the homeless, but keeping your neighbors happy isn't that easy. It's annoying us instead. Yeah, certainly is. So here is the restaurant. If you look just across the street, here are the homes. Residents here, uh, as I said, they've complained to restaurant management. Uh, they've been asked to talk to corporate, and they're waiting for a response and some sort of a resolution. Yeah, yes. wondering if they've turned it off for now because they know we're live right now. So we'll see what happens next. Maybe.